Hello, hello, you are tuned to the Elvin Mark Art Channel. I make art wherever I go here on the island of Singapore. How are we all doing? Here in Singapore, we are slowly opening up this densely populated nation. This means we're able to visit big exhibitions, run marathons, attend a symphony performance, etc, etc. Looking forward to all of that. The climate is looking good. If you're new here, thank you for joining me. This episode, do yourself a favor by clicking on the subscribe button so that whenever a new episode is put out, you will be the first ones to see it. This is the miniature exhibition called Hong Kong Through the Looking Glass. It is at Suntec City. Visitors get to view iconic locations in Hong Kong from different perspectives and a unique vantage point. This exhibition co-organized by the Hong Kong Tourism Board is a part of the celebrations for the 25th anniversary of the Hong Kong Special Administrative Regions Establishment. Yes, it's been 25 years and Singapore is its debut. Let's take a look at some of these intricate works of art. One of my favorite pieces is the China Cafe. It is a familiar location for fans of Hong Kong films as it serves as a shooting location for many classic films. This exhibit is so detailed that even the ceiling fans can turn. The coins are engraved to look like real Hong Kong coins and even the miniature clock works like a normal clock. The cafe itself also has a fixture of Hong Kong culture with familiar food and beverages on the menu that evokes feelings of home from Hong Kong people. As an added easter egg, the artist Tim Ho has also modelled himself as one of the patrons of the cafe. We are in for a special treat. Joyful Miniature Association runs free workshops on weekends during this two-week long event. The session is run by Carmen Poon who is president of the Joyful Miniature Association. Carmen does oil painting too but her forte is in making miniature food like those that you've seen here. These are some of her beautifully sculptured pieces from the exhibition. Carmen tells me that there are many individual miniature sculptors in Hong Kong and many of the sculptures produced or many of the works produced are not very big. She started the association so that groups of artists can come together to create bigger scenes like these that you've seen from the show. And that's the power of like-minded people working together on the same thing. I wonder if I can do something similar like this with art in Singapore that has not been done before. What can you do in your hometown or city that can bring like-minded people together for a greater good? Definitely something worth thinking about.
enjoy this session thoroughly. I love making things in general, but will I be venturing into this new hobby? Probably not. Not enough bandwidth and also I just want to keep it art at this point. It was a good intro and experience for me for sure and hey, I might use the idea of miniatures or way of working for what I currently do. I'll leave you all with this ink and watercolour sketch of a typical hair salon in Hong Kong. This piece was modelled by Tony Lai and has a scale of 1 is to 12. All cutting tools here are made exquisitely. This is Alvin Mark, thank you so much for watching. Being in the workshop was a privilege. I'm glad I was allowed to record it for everyone here on YouTube. See you all soon for the next sketch up. So until then, ciao ciao.